What's up guys, my name is Cal, and today I'm teaching you how to play In One Ear by Cage the Elephant, probably one of my favorite bands, aside from the White Stripes, of course, uh, as you guys probably know. Uh, but anyway, this song is awesome, it's got some great uh, riffs, licks going on. There are multiple guitar parts that are played simultaneously, so you sort of have to choose what part you want to play, but I will be teaching you all of them, uh, and without further ado, let's get into the song. Okay, so the song starts out with uh, just kind of a crunchy power chord, uh, the F-sharp power chord. Uh, first finger on the 2nd fret low E string, 3rd finger on the 4th fret A string, and then your pinky on the 4th fret D string, and you hit that twice. And then sort of let it ring. Um, and then it goes into the, uh, the main uh, riff, which is played through the intro and the chorus. And that is uh, two hits on that F-sharp chord we just learned. And then go to a, an A chord, a power chord, or an A uh, actual chord. The power chord is first finger on the 5th fret low E string, 2nd finger on the 7th fret A string, pinky on the 7th fret D string. Or just take your first finger and bar down the, uh, the D, the G, and the B, and then hit the open A as well. Um, and then the next chord is a B chord, which is first finger on the second fret A string, third finger on the fourth fret D string, and then your pinky on the fourth fret G string. So it's basically two hits on the uh, the F sharp, and then up to uh, the A twice, and then to the B, and you hit that like three times. So. And then, uh, then the intro, then the the lead guitar uh, riff kicks in, which is, um, and that starts off on the ninth fret G string to the eleventh fret G string. Then on the 10th fret B string, up to the 12th fret B string, so, and then you take that uh, 12th fret B string and bend it up to the 14th fret, so. And then you sort of hit it a couple more times at its peak. And then back down to the 10th fret on the B string. Then to the 11th fret on the G string. Then back to the 10th fret of the G string. Then back to the 11th fret on the G string. And that part happens real fast. You can sort of do a hammer on if you want to uh, to make it sound a little bit uh, more fluid. So. Um, and if that's a little bit too fast for you to do uh, the 10th to the 11th to the 10th to the 11th, you can just do the 10th to the 11th once and it'll sound pretty much the same. So. But you can hear the slight difference uh, in those two. And essentially the, the only difference for the intro, that riff, is the timing. So it starts off playing it like this. And then it plays. And basically the only difference there is you pause, for the first one you pause on the uh, on the 11th fret G string. And then uh, once the, uh, the rest of the riff kicks in, uh, it goes and just does it 
all uh, straight to the uh, the ninth fret. Sorry, the tenth fret and the B string right away instead of pausing on the eleventh fret. So. <laughs> Um, and if you're wondering why I'm putting uh, these two fingers here on the 12th fret, it basically just makes it easier to bend bend the note. Uh, but you can just do that as well. It doesn't really matter. But I'm not hitting any string, extra strings there. Um, okay, so that is the main intro, and then it goes to the, uh, the verse. <laughs> Um, that is uh, two hits on the F sharp power chord that we already learned, and then to the A chord, and it's sort of a so muted downstroke, and then up uh, upstroke on the A. So. Um, and the muted thing is where you basically just take the palm of your hand, place it flat across the strings, so it mutes them. Just like that. Um, and it changes from the, uh, the F sharp to the A to the F sharp to the B. Uh, again, all those chords we already know. So. so it does that twice, and then it goes to the B and then to the A. And then back into the riff. So. Um, and then for the chorus, when it changes back, it just uh, the chorus is the same as the intro that we played. Again, these two chords are the same. Uh, I'm just showing that you can use either one. Um, so then after the chorus ends, uh, it goes back into the... Uh, and then uh, straight back into the verse. Um, and that's pretty much the entire song. Now there's uh, there's one part that where he sort of picks uh, the, the F sharp chord. Um, in the uh, sort of the breakdown section, but that one's not too important. You can basically just kind of do the same uh, same opening lick instead if you want, uh, and then just repeat. So that's pretty much the entire song, as I said before. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a share. It means a lot. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, feel free to leave those down below, as well as any song suggestions that you'd like to see me do. Uh, other than that, hope you guys have a great day, and see you guys later.